Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how to use the bulk copy utility uh, inside our data orchestration engine, Javelin. Now, bulk copy is a very fast method of moving data from one database to another. You can also move it between database types if you want to do that. So what do we have? So we're starting with, we have two databases. One is NOP prod and one is NOP dev. Um, and if we just have a quick look at um, our source, which is uh, in effect simulating our production environment and we see we have a bunch of data in there uh, and then we'll go to our target environment which is completely empty. Now we're going to use our, just in, to make things a bit uh, faster, we're going to use our subsetting engine. <coughs> so here I have a little subset and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out just the products of type 5 um, and then obviously that's going to work our way out across the database, you know, pulling in uh, the, the the subtables associated with our products. Now what you do is you will see in the subset tool um, a little, and this is an accelerator so you don't have to actually create the SQL statements yourself. I'm just going to save the Javelin subset. Um, I'm going to pick it up from the repository. Now these are the tables we're going to subset and these are the rest of the tables. So um, for those what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take all of the reference tables. I'm just going to pull in subsetting our product tables and bring the rest of the data in. And what I also need to do is to just tell it where I'm going to move the data to which is NOP dev. Click on OK and what I'm going to do now is just store that definition. And now I've stored the definition and what we're going to do is pop into our Javelin tool now uh, and there are a number of accelerators for Javelin. Uh, this one is to do, if you click on import XML CSV and you'll see one which is subset XML. I'm going to browse, I'm going to find p5.xml, click on import and what you'll see is that we've now created you um, a little flowchart um, it's very linear, it's just straight up and down, but you'll see that actually what we have then if you go down and look, let's say look at our product table, a bit further on down. Okay, so here's the product table and if we look at the properties over here, let's just take a look at the query and if we look in the query you'll see that we've actually created our little is our where clause sit in there so we don't have to type that in. Uh, and now what I can do is just, I'm going to save this, I'm going to save it as, just call it P5 all, like so. And now what I can do is just click on start and what you'll see then is a little process log. So let's just let it go. You'll see running flow. And what we do now is execute the bulk copy and that's going to extract from our prod database. Um, and then it's going to move it down into our development database. And you can see it's very fast indeed. Uh, so that's doing a combination of subsetting and just direct data moves. So hopefully you can see it's a very powerful utility. Um, if you look at the bulk copy utility itself, it's pretty easy to configure. So what you're looking at there is uh, basically all of the information to do with where the data is coming from. Uh, we've got a query written in there. Double click to configure. Then if you look at the bulk copy, you'll see where the target is. And again, all I've got to do here is just literally put in the values uh, for the target. Um, we've got a few parameters in there as well. If you just click on the variables, you'll see those variables. Let's just get back up to the flowchart and look at variables. And you'll see all the different variables we've set to actually control the operation of the subset. Okay, so that's uh, subsetting and the bulk copy utility using the Javelin uh, data orchestration engine.